Good day, Mathematics Soldiers! I hope that you are all doing fine. It's an another opportunity to learn mathematics. I am Mr. Sider Calpito, your teacher in today's lesson. Before we go over, let's have some fun! Our activity for the day is called, Your Shape Looks Familiar. Are you ready, class? Tell whether the following figures are congruent or not. I will give you 15 seconds to do this activity. Your timer starts now. Did you get the correct answers? That's awesome! From our activity, congruence means having the same shapes and size and denoted by this symbol. Did you know that the idea of congruence is widely used in our society? Have you ever wondered how buildings and bridges are designed? From manufacturing tires or even food production, such as your all-time favorite chip. Now, let's move on to our lesson, the triangle congruence. Here we have a triangle ABC and triangle DEF. And when triangle DEF is placed on top of triangle ABC, the triangles should match exactly. Thus, the corresponding parts of two triangles are matched as follows. We are going to use this symbol to denote correspondence. Here are the list of corresponding angles and sides. The corresponding angles are Angle A corresponds to Angle B. Angle D corresponds to angle E, and angle C corresponds to angle F. And for the congruent sides are, line segment AB corresponds to line segment DE. Line segment BC corresponds to line segment EF. Line segment AC corresponds to line segment DF. The corresponding parts of congruent triangles have the same measure. Therefore, the congruence statement is the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle DEF. Take note, in naming congruent triangles, you must write the corresponding vertices in correct order. Two triangles are congruent if and only if their corresponding sides and angles are congruent. Here are some examples. List all the corresponding angles and sides which are congruent in the given illustration. Use the special markings to identify the corresponding sides and angles. For these triangles, the congruence statement are the triangle HUM is congruent to triangle ELB. Now, it's your turn. List all the corresponding angles and sides which are congruent in the given illustration. Then write the congruence statement. Place your answer on the piece of paper. I will give you 60 seconds to finish the task. Your timer starts now!
Did you list all the corresponding angles and sides? How about the congruence statement? Very good! Remember, to indicate the congruence of the two triangles, use this symbol to indicate congruence. This implies that the corresponding parts are equal and similar. When naming congruent triangles, you must write the corresponding vertices in correct order. This time, bring out your quiz notebook and answer this. For your assignment, draw a house using the concept of triangle congruence. In real-life situation, integrity means congruence, words and behaviors match. That was another fun adventure to the world of numbers. See you in the next lesson. Bye!